so much for joining me today. I'm going to be painting these beautiful, bright daisies. I'm going to start by using some pink water. It's basically water with the tiniest bit of pink and blue paint. And I'm going to, oh, I didn't mean to, to start with that. Um, but I'm going to start by adding quick flowers with the super watery paint. It's going to come down like this into a uh, glass that's like this. And it's got some sides to it. And that's it for the glass. I'll just give the glass a base. So they need to go into the glass. And in the glass is lots and lots of greenery. Might just put in a little bit of that greenery down here. Lots and lots of greenery that's in the glass. It's chock a block. There's a water line here, like that. And I can't really see the other line, other side of the water line, so that's quite perfect. I'm just going to suggest that there's lots and lots of stems and leaves in the water. I'm going to go back to my watery batch of pinky purple and these flowers are coming out at all sorts of angles and they're all going to end up going into the jar into the jar some are half open so i'm going to do some thin ones and some thick ones some are pointing that way it's late afternoon, so they're starting to close already, which is um, not exactly what I had in mind for painting them this afternoon, but it will suffice. Sometimes you've got to go with what happens. I'm just going to put in some over here, big space there. So I'm just filling in some lovely ones in all the different spaces and that one comes down and then this one is in behind this stem and it comes down there's sort of one sitting towards the back there it comes down this one didn't really get a stem so i'll just re-emphasize its stem then i'm going to go into the green and put in some of the buds. The buds are all green. So I'm going to put in a bud over there. And there's quite a few buds. There's a bud up here. And it's got a stem as well. It's got a stem. And um, well, there's a bud down low, down here. I'm just painting one on top of another. I'm not worrying at the moment at all about where things, which um, flower is in front of another one. I'm just painting in loosely, make that one, give it a different angle. And um, there's actually lots of buds when you go looking. There's a little bud down here, nice and low. That one can come over there. And, um, oh, and there's a bud right over there sitting at the back. And its stem comes down there as well. Uh, this one's sitting over behind there. That's that one and that one. Oh, there's another one over there. And that one's behind, but I'm just going to give it a stem anyway. Okay, while that's just drying up there, I'm going to deal with that little blob firstly. And um, so I'm going to go back to my pale, pale pink, pinky purple, and that's going to become a flower. That way I'll solve the issue of what's to become of it. Now all of my stems have greenery, so I'm going to 
put in some of that greenery while my flowers are drying. So they've got long stems and then the greenery sort of starts, um, I don't know, about 10 centimetres down. So I'm just going to use the point, my brush, to put in some quick stems, uh, leaves I should say, over there, and that's a stem that's got a leaf. I'm going to give it a leaf, it doesn't actually have one, but that tall one would have some that would be around here, around there. I'm going to get a lot of water and paint liberally over here, up to the side of the bars, liberally, liberally with water. Come down here and I'm going to include some yellow. Yellow, like that. I'm going to go halfway up on this side and go a long way up on this side. This is my thicker yellow, so I'm going to come back in now with some thick yellow and re-emphasize that beautiful Have a bit of water. I think I'll grab some of the pink and drop it into that yellow while I'm here. Just put in some dots. It's quite intense, but I will be making the blossoms more intense. How dry are they? Yeah, they're kind of half dry. That'll do just fine. I'm going to go in and define some of the petals now. So they've got yellow centers so this yellow I've put down the bottom I'm planning to incorporate up um, in the flowers some of the flowers I'm switching to a smaller um, brush it's got blue on it just get rid of that and I want to re-emphasize this purple so I'm going to drop my brush into this pink And oh, I think I'll make up colour in this little segment here. Just clean it out, put some of the pink in there, and pick up some of that blue, making my own purple. But yeah, that's lovely. Back in with some pink. Go to, I want a pinky purple. Okay, that's better. Now, ooh. Going to give some of the um, flowers some detail. Same colour over here, a lot of water, and with the exact same colour but just lots of water, add more of those petals, and some of them are going to touch. And in the centre there, when that dries, will go some yellow. Right, just play around with adding some yellow now. I wonder something lovely will happen. Oh, yep, I love it. Okay, that's nice. And that's the base and then it goes down into, um, I'm going to put a bit more yellow as it comes in and I might 
just give one of those leaves a yellow edge. I'm just looking for ways to incorporate that yellow up higher. Um, right, this is the purple that I'm using for the petals. So over on this one here, of the purple and paint some more of the petals, paint some of the internal petals and on this one I can just see the yellow in the center so I'll swap over to this brush and uh, do the same. I'm giving these flowers way more yellow than they actually have but I'm loving the effect so I'm just going with it. And then I'm going to re-emphasize the stem, bring it down, and it goes into the jar. And it's a bit of now you see it, now you don't, as it comes down. I might pick up some of the um, green. It's a bit watery, so I'm going to add blue and thick blue so that it becomes thicker and then I'm going to add some yellow just dropping it in there that way I keep my yellow brush clean and where was I this I can't remember what I was about to do I was coming down here and adding little leaf leafy bits I think that's what I was going to do anyway right and then I'll just repeat that process um, I keep forgetting, I keep wanting to double check which brush I'm using, so that's what that little piece of paper is for. Okay, beautiful purple, and um, I'm going to paint all the ones at the, at the front first, and then the ones at the back later. So, over here. goes out like that, and it comes down and it's got this beautiful green base, but I'm going to switch to the, um, the watery version, wash that off, wipe off the excess water, dip into the watery pink, and paint the petals that are on the other side. So in this one I can't really see the yellow that's inside my um, the flower head. So I'm going to, I just can't resist, so I'm going to add the tiniest little bit of yellow and I'll add some to the stem, making the stem a little yellowy green. Um, and that's incorporating my background. Back to the dark purple and for each one the treatment will be the same do the dark then do the light there's a lovely one here and it's just full of dark feathers surprising how many different shapes you get with these petals oh it's really nearly closed it's coming in and so there's actually lots of dark petals on this one not so many light ones uh, I'll keep that light in there I think wash it off and go for the pale just put in a little bit of pale tone in the center and oops I dripped water there I didn't mean to I'm gonna go in for the green 
of the um, bottom of the flower there and it's got a stem that comes in and out out oh, I'll just re-emphasize that lovely leaf and then it goes in and down and there and I'll just put in a few more leafy shapes that's inside the glass there just really darkening up some of the leaves as I go this um, outside rim of the glass needs to be um, more obvious I might just fix that while I'm there I've got a flat brush I'm going to wipe off the excess moisture on my table. I'm just going to take off some of that paint. So this will remind me as I'm painting the vase to keep this light. I can take it off again later, but in the meantime, it's quite good to just keep it light like that. Okay, next one, dark purple again. And um, I might do this one next. It's got lots and lots of light purple. It's hard to see. A little bit of dark purple, not much at all. Little tiny bits. A few dark petals. So, so there's going to be lots of yellow in this one. Oh, that's lovely. And then it comes in. Then there's a beautiful green base. And then the stem comes down. I'll make it go in front there. And then into the vase. and it's got leaves that come out and then go up and um yes it's got lots of leaves this well a few i'm just going to come up there it's quite good to add some leaves for that one and add another leaf there and then i need to go straight up and get the pale pink, the pale purple. I'm washing that colour off, picking up the pale wash because it's got lots of internal petals that are pale. And I can see lots of its centre. Lovely opportunity to drop in yellow. And That's good. Now, back to my purple. My, this is my darker purple. I'm running low on that, but that's okay. I've only got a few more flowers to put in. Um, I might just darken up some petals on some of them, like this one here. Darken just some of the petals. And I'm going to start to use a separate brush because I'm running low on the darker purple. So that I don't have to re-wash it all, I'm just going to use water to soften those ones rather than wash that brush up. Back to my darker purple. A little bit of definition to this one here. Can't see inside any of these, so it's appropriate that there's no yellow. A little bit of water. Yeah. Back to my purple. Um, this one here, that one goes just darken the outside. That one, a little bit of water, can't see the inside of that at all. Back to my purple. This one just needs a few, again, I can't see any of the inside. Of those ones and then it goes to the green 
base and the stem comes down, down, down there into the vase. Right, got the green, darken. It's a real mess of green in the in the vase itself. And back to my purple. Oh, I'm, st I'm going to have just enough to finish off this one. Has petals this way, this way, and that way. And I'm going back to this one for the green. Comes down behind there, through that one, behind there. And it's going to go into the vase like that, and then squashy leaves. It can have a leaf, can have a leaf. Maybe it's got a leaf like there. I like that idea. And a leaf in front of that one because it is a tall one. Um, just going to check what's on that brush. Yeah, it's just water. So I'm just going to soften off some of those petals. Don't want them to be too forward so if I soften the lines they um, sit a little further back. Right. Uh, okay this one needs a little bit of detail I think. Back to my purple and Um, oh yes, I'll give this one a lovely yellow centre. So it's going to have all these dark ones that are low there, there, and then up here, little tiny bits of suggestion of dark, little bits where the petals sit behind. In there, and um, this one's got the. Oh, that's got green. This has got water there. So, I'm going to pick up the watery pink and come in with some internal petals. And while it's lovely and wet, Put in all this yellow center. And then I need, I think this has got the green. Yeah. Green to give it a base. It's there, it's behind that one that comes down like that. Make it go in there. It's going to have a leaf goes to the edge, leaf that goes above, just darken up a little bit in there I think, just a little bit, and um, it's a little bit of a space there and those two are both really similarly pointing that way so I think what I'll do is just adjust that petal and give it a big open petal there just to solve that issue of the space and then it looks a little bit like it's got a um, messy petal. Okay that's better in that space there and so this little um, bud gets a yellow, it's got a tiniest bit of yellow detail on it. I'm going to give that bud a tiny bit of yellow detail. That one, just little yellow details to the buds. Uh, now I'm going to give some little buds, I'm going to give some pink detail too. 
because it's logical that it would look like the pink is about to burst out there. And there. And, oh, that's a bud down here. And then there. Oh, that one is poking out. Haha, <laughs> that's lovely. That's what they start to do. They stick out the top when they're about to just do the same up to these ones. When they're about to open, the petals stick out the top. Okay, any other final details? Um, I think I need to calm this down. It's really jumping out at me now and I'm not enjoying it. And there's also a disconnect between the background colour and the inside here. What I'm going to do is get some of this beautiful blue and glaze it with blue. Pale. I'm just going to double check that it is pale. Yep, not particularly. I'm going to add a stack of water to that. More water. Then I'm going to glaze over here. Just getting a clean brush to wash it out. Soften it out, I should say. And bring the Blue glaze, I'm just going to turn it on its side, bringing the blue glaze over here. This is my clean brush, soften it up to nothing. It's a little better. Soften the sides of the vase. Hopefully give it a little more form. And um, I need the purple down there. That's what I need. Well, it's lovely and wet still. Going in. Paulus Bowers with the magenta. Make the magenta sing and oh I can't resist now adding the blue. Um then I'm just gonna use a bit of gravity to make the colours flow. Give it a little bang, encourage it to move quickly, turn it the other way. Okay, now how's it looking? Right, that space is much better because I pulled that little um, petal into the space. It's um, incredibly dark down here, so I feel like I need to add some darks up higher. So I'm picking up some of the blue and some of the pink. I'm going to need more. It's quinacridone magenta. So I'm going to squeeze out a little more. So beautiful, this colour. Right, pink. Add it to this mix. Can't remember. There's the blue. Right, lovely and dark. Add a little bit of dark in here. I think it's just needing some darks now.
the tissues and take off some of that colour. It's just not loving it. Oh, that's much better. Oh, what a relief. Final little details. When that's dry, I think I'll glaze it with purple. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it's all right. It'll be one of those things that I'll decide about later. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear from you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Bye.